Dear listeners, tonight I beckon you to step into a realm of dreams where legendary giants walk the earth and every stone whispers a tale. Relax, close your eyes, and let the story whisk you away to the mystical giant's causeway where secrets of strength, wisdom, and sacrifice are waiting to be uncovered. Prepare to be enchanted as we journey together through a world of wonder and timeless legends. The Giant's Causeway, Irish's Mystical Secrets Finn was a young boy with a heart full of curiosity and a mind eager for adventure. Living in a small village by the coast of Ireland, he often heard tales of the legendary Giant's Causeway, a place of myth and mystery. The stories told by the elders spoke of an ancient giant named Finn McCool, who had crafted the causeway with his own hands, building it as a bridge to Scotland to face a rival giant. These tales filled Finn's imagination with images of grand adventures and colossal beings. One crisp morning, the sky painted in hues of pink and orange, Finn awoke with a sense of purpose. Today would be the day he would finally explore the giant's causeway. He packed a small backpack with essentials, a flask of water, some bread and cheese, and a worn notebook where he jotted down his thoughts and sketches. His mother, noticing his excitement, reminded him to be careful. The causeway is a place of wonders, but also of dangers, Finn. Keep your wits about you, she advised, her eyes reflecting both worry and pride. With a quick hug and a promise to return by dusk, Finn set off. The path to the causeway was familiar, yet filled with new sights each time he walked it. He passed through fields of vibrant wildflowers, their colors dazzling in the morning light. The air was fresh, carrying the scent of the sea and the distant calls of seabirds. As he approached the coastline, the terrain grew more rugged. The soft earth gave way to rocky outcrops and jagged cliffs. Finn navigated these with ease, his small frame nimble and his steps sure. His heart pounded with excitement and a hint of apprehension. The tales of the giant's causeway were not just stories to him. They were a call to adventure, a beckoning from the unknown. Finally, he reached the edge of the land where the sea met the shore. The sight before him took his breath away. The giant's causeway, a marvel of nature, stretched out into the ocean. Thousands of basalt columns, formed from ancient volcanic activity, stood like a frozen army, their hexagonal shapes interlocking to create a pathway that seemed to invite him forward. Each column was a step into another world, a world where giants roamed and legends were born. Finn stood in awe, his eyes wide with wonder. He walked carefully onto the causeway, feeling the cool, smooth stone beneath his feet. The columns varied in height, some reaching up to his knees, others towering over him. He could feel the ancient energy of the place, a silent testament to the forces that had shaped it over millennia. As he ventured further, the sound of the waves crashing against the rocks grew louder, a rhythmic accompaniment to his thoughts. He paused to take in the view, the endless horizon blending the sea and sky into a seamless expanse of blue. The solitude of the place was profound, 
yet Finn felt a connection to all those who had walked here before him. From the giants of legend to the countless curious souls drawn by the causeway's mystique. He took out his notebook and began to sketch the scene, capturing the intricate patterns of the basalt columns and the play of light on the water. His mind wandered to the stories he had heard. What if the giant Finn McCool had really existed? What if he were still here, watching over the causeway, guarding its secrets? The thought sent a shiver down Finn's spine, but also filled him with a thrill of anticipation. Lost in his drawings and musings, Finn almost didn't notice the change in the air. A sudden stillness fell over the causeway, as if the world were holding its breath. Suddenly, a shadow fell over him, large and dark. Finn's heart raced as he looked up, his eyes widening in disbelief. Standing before him was a giant figure, tall and imposing, blocking out the sun. The giant's presence was both awe-inspiring and terrifying. His massive frame was clad in simple, rough-hewn garments, and his eyes sparkled with a mischievous yet kind light. This was Finn McCool, the legendary giant he had heard so much about. Hello there, young adventurer, the giant boomed, his voice deep and resonant, yet carrying a warmth that put Finn somewhat at ease. I am Finn McCool, and it seems you have found your way to my causeway. Finn's initial fear melted away, replaced by sheer amazement. You're real, he whispered, barely able to believe his eyes. I've heard so many stories about you. McCool chuckled, the sound like distant thunder. Stories have a way of growing with time, he said, bending down so he could see Finn more clearly. But yes, I am real, as real as this causeway you stand upon. And who might you be, young one? I'm Finn, the boy replied, his voice gaining strength. Finn O'Malley. I live in the village nearby. I've always wanted to see the giant's causeway and learn its secrets. Well, Finn O'Malley, McCool said with a smile, it's a pleasure to meet someone so curious and brave. Not many dare to venture this far alone. Come, walk with me. I have much to show you, and many tales to tell. Finn's heart soared with excitement as he walked alongside the giant. Despite McCool's immense size, his steps were surprisingly gentle, and he moved with a grace that belied his bulk. They began their journey along the causeway, each step revealing new wonders. McCool pointed out the unique features of the landscape, explaining how the columns were formed by volcanic activity millions of years ago. These stones, McCool said, tapping one with his massive foot, are the bones of the earth. They remind us of the powerful forces that shaped this land. As they walked, McCool shared stories of his own exploits. He spoke of the time he built the causeway to challenge a giant from Scotland, of battles fought and won and of the clever tricks he used to outsmart his foes. Finn listened, enthralled by the tales of bravery and ingenuity. Each story made the giant seem more real, more human, despite his enormous size. Did you really build this causeway all by yourself? Finn asked, his eyes wide with wonder. McCool laughed, a hearty sound that echoed across the sea. Ah, the stories do get that part right, mostly. It was a grand task, but I had help from the land and sea. 
the earth gave me the stones, and the sea shaped them into these marvelous columns. It was a labor of love more than a challenge. As they continued, McCool showed Finn secret places along the causeway that few ever saw. Their journey began in a lush forest, a place where the trees towered high above and the undergrowth was thick and verdant. The air was filled with the scent of pine and earth, and the sound of birdsong accompanied their steps. As they walked, Finn marveled at the way McCool navigated the dense forest. With a single sweep of his massive hand, the giant could clear a path through the undergrowth, lifting fallen logs and pushing aside brambles as if they were mere twigs. Watch this, McCool said with a grin, as he effortlessly picked up a boulder, blocking their path and tossed it aside. Finn's eyes widened in amazement. The giant's strength was beyond anything he had ever imagined. But it wasn't just brute strength that McCool demonstrated. As they ventured deeper into the forest, they encountered a wide, fast-flowing river. The current was too strong for Finn to cross alone. McCool, however, had a solution. He took a long, sturdy branch and fashioned it into a bridge, using vines to secure it to trees on either side of the river. With a few deft movements, he created a safe passage for Finn to cross. You see, strength is important, McCool said, but ingenuity is just as crucial. Always look for the smart way to solve a problem, not just the strong way. Finn nodded, absorbing the lesson. They continued their journey, the forest giving way to rolling hills, and, eventually, towering mountains. The climb was steep and arduous, but McCool's presence made it manageable. He showed Finn the best routes to take, pointing out handholds and footholds that would make the ascent easier. At one particularly difficult section, where the path was narrow and the drop steep, McCool took a moment to share a story. This reminds me of a time I had to outwit a particularly cunning giant, he said. It wasn't strength that won the day, but a clever ruse. As they climbed, McCool recounted tales of his past adventures each story filled with lessons. Finn learned about the giant's encounters with mythical creatures, some friendly, others fearsome, and the clever tricks McCool used to outmaneuver them. One story that particularly captivated Finn was about a time McCool tricked a dragon into thinking he was much larger than he actually was using a series of mirrors and a booming voice. They reached the summit of the mountain, where the view took Finn's breath away. Below them stretched vast valleys, green and fertile, dotted with rivers and lakes that sparkled in the sunlight. It was a moment of pure awe and wonder, the beauty of the landscape a testament to the power and majesty of nature. Their descent into the valleys was filled with new challenges and discoveries. They crossed wide expanses of grassland, where the wind blew strong and free, and Finn felt a deep connection to the land. McCool continued to share stories, and Finn listened intently his imagination fired by the giant's words. Each tale was a window into a world where the boundaries between reality and myth blurred, and where the land itself seemed to be alive with history. In one valley, they encountered a herd of wild 
deer. Finn watched in amazement as McCool approached them with a gentle, calm demeanor. The deer, sensing no threat, allowed the giant to come close. Respect the creatures of this land, McCool advised. They are as much a part of its story as you and I. As their adventures continued, Finn began to see the land in a new light. It was not just a backdrop for their journey, but a living, breathing entity with its own tales to tell. The mountains, forests, and valleys were filled with the echoes of the past, and each step they took felt like a step back in time. One evening, as they sat by a campfire under a sky filled with stars, McCool shared a final story for the day. He spoke of the ancient times, when giants roamed freely, and the world was full of magic. Finn listened, his eyes wide with wonder, and realized that the myths and legends were more than just stories. They were the very fabric of the land, woven into its hills and valleys, its rivers and forests. Through these adventures, Finn's understanding of the world deepened. He saw the strength and ingenuity of Finn McCool, not just as qualities of a giant, but as traits that anyone could aspire to. The land's connection to its myths and legends became clear to him. A vital part of its identity and history as their journey drew to a close, Finn found himself reflecting on the incredible experiences and the profound lessons he had gained during his time with Finn McCool. Walking alongside the giant, the young boy had seen and done things he never thought possible. The day had been filled with adventure, wonder, and invaluable teachings that would stay with him forever. The towering figure of Finn McCool had been a source of strength and wisdom. Initially, Finn had been awestruck by the giant's physical power. Watching McCool lift boulders effortlessly and navigate treacherous terrain with ease had been nothing short of spectacular. However, as their journey progressed, Finn began to understand that McCool's true strength lay not just in his immense physical capabilities, but in his wisdom and creativity. One evening, as they sat by a crackling fire under the canopy of a star-studded sky, McCool shared stories that emphasized the power of the mind and the heart. He spoke of battles won through cleverness, rather than brute force, of problems solved by thinking outside the box. McCool's tales were filled with instances where wit and ingenuity triumphed over sheer strength. Finn realized that McCool's legendary status was as much due to his intelligence and strategic thinking as to his physical prowess. Strength is more than muscle. McCool had said, his deep voice resonating with conviction. It's about knowing when to fight and when to outthink your opponent. It's about using the resources you have and always being ready to adapt. These words had a profound impact on Finn. He began to see that true strength encompassed a blend of physical capability mental agility, and emotional resilience. McCool's ability to face challenges with a calm mind and a creative approach taught Finn that wisdom and creativity were essential components of true power. Moreover, McCool's stories and their adventures together highlighted the importance of the myths and legends that shaped their land. Through these tales, 
Finn saw how the history and identity of his people were intertwined with the landscape. The stories were not mere fantasies. They were reflections of the values, lessons, and experiences of countless generations. They carried the essence of who they were and where they came from. McCool's respect for these stories was evident in the way he told them. Each tale was delivered with reverence, each lesson conveyed with care. Finn understood that these myths were a crucial part of their cultural heritage, offering guidance and wisdom for the future. They were a source of identity, connecting the present to the past and providing a foundation for the future. As their time together neared its end, Finn felt a mix of emotions. He was grateful for the knowledge and experiences he had gained, but also saddened by the thought of parting ways with the giant. On their last day, they stood at the edge of the giant's causeway, the place where their journey had begun. Thank you, Finn McCool. Finn said, his voice tinged with emotion. I've learned so much from you. I promise to keep these stories alive and to share them with others. McCool smiled, a warm and reassuring expression. Remember, young Finn, these stories are a part of you now. They live on through you. As long as you carry them in your heart and share them with others, the legends will never fade. With a heavy heart, Finn bid farewell to the giant. He watched as McCool turned and walked away, his massive form gradually blending into the landscape until he was just a memory against the horizon. Finn stood there for a moment, feeling the weight of the promise he had made. He knew it was not just a farewell to a friend, but a commitment to preserving the rich tapestry of his culture. As he made his way back home, Finn felt a new sense of purpose. The path seemed different now, filled with the echoes of the stories and lessons he had learned. The landscape, once just a backdrop for adventure, now held a deeper meaning. Each rock, tree, and river seemed to whisper the tales of old, and Finn felt a part of something much larger than himself. Upon reaching his village, Finn was greeted by familiar faces, their curiosity piqued by his absence. He gathered the children and elders alike, eager to share his journey. With passion and reverence, he recounted the incredible story of his adventure with Finn McCool. The lessons of strength, wisdom, and creativity, and the importance of the myths that shaped their land. Dear listeners, may your dreams be filled with wonder and your heart with courage. Good night, and may you sleep peacefully until we meet again for another enchanting adventure.